question number two comes from Jennifer Collins. We used to do some Facebook marketing in the past, but didn't feel like it did much. Now I'm hearing everyone talk about how great it is. Am I missing something? So, you know, when I was looking at the questions for the show, I decided that I just wanted to take these two because I knew that they're going to be longer. I mean, that last one with Clark uh, was definitely had, had some content to it. Jennifer, I, I appreciate this question. Um, what I would have to ask back to you right away is, is what type of marketing are you referring to on Facebook when you say it, it just wasn't working or it just wasn't getting the results you were talking about? Facebook really has four parts to it, to its strategy or to its marketing, okay? So, and a lot of people, it's, it's like you're talking about one, like it didn't work and it's, it's one of those points that, that's not working or not getting you the results you were expecting. So, uh, the first part of Facebook is just always content. It's what's our content strategy? What are we putting up there? How often are we posting? I mean, most of us know this game, right? That's not the new part. Um, Second part is boosting your post. So Facebook has an ad platform, and one of the things you can do is take your post and boost that to your network so they see it, and not only your network, but their network. So the people who like your page plus their family and friends, uh, you pay to let people see that. A lot of people miss this. Let's say, for example, you have a 1,000 likes or 1,000 followers to your Facebook page, right? If you post something, Facebook only allows about a third of them to see that post. So 333 people see your post on your blog article that month, okay? Right? And so people go, whoa, 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 they follow us. Why, why is that the case? It's Facebook's way of controlling spam. They knew if a business has a Facebook page with a thousand followers, they would probably be tempted to put something up every single day and spam everybody on Facebook. And then the people on Facebook don't like that and they get upset that Facebook is becoming so spammy. And so they get off and they go to another platform. So it's Facebook's way of controlling that. Now, if you want, if you want to post something, you want everybody to see it, you boost it. You put 50 bucks behind it, a hundred bucks, depending on how big your network is. So that's number two. Number three is likes. Um, you can run a campaign to just increase likes to your page. You run a little ad and it's like, hey, like our page over at such and such family dental center. Um, and it's, it's a good way, so it puts it out there to the network. I mean, in a sense you can choose, but the best audience is the network of the people that like your page. So not to the people that like your page, but their friends and family. You put it out there to them because there's probably some association there and you'll start to pick up likes. And it's a good strategy for a dental practice. I mean, if you're at 300 likes and we'll get you up to a thousand, you know, over the course of a year. Um, and now you have a good size audience there. So that's the third. And then last is what I call uh, what it's, it's just their ad platform or, or their, their ads, but um, Facebook dark posts is kind of the, the street, the, the slang term for it. Um, and know that you know, dark post, it sounds a little sinister, a little evil, but really it's just a way of posting onto Facebook where it doesn't go on your wall, okay? Because uh, most of the time if you're posting, it's on your wall, everybody can see it. These are dark posts. So your followers don't see them, but you can target anybody else. And so this is an area where it's extremely exciting. Uh, you can target, I, I mean, Facebook is the world's largest data company. And so you can target anybody. I mean, you, you wanna do dental implants, you can target 40 to 65 year olds who like watching Downton Abbey or whatever. Uh, I mean, Facebook has that kind of data on people. Uh, females who, who um, you know, married or not married or recently divorced, like, all that type of data is there, uh, and it's amazing how targeted you can become. And so that's the stuff I'm most excited about, I like. And so when you say it wasn't getting the results you thought, you, you know, I would wonder if you're boosting posts or trying to drive likes. Uh, if you are wanting a return of new patients, dark posts are where it's at, okay? And before I just shut this down, so, so three kind of quick keys to dark posts. Uh, number one, you don't want them on the right-hand column. You want them in the feed. So when you set that up, you can specify where you want those ads to run. 
let's get away from the right hand column stuff. I mean, Google AdWords, Facebook, just, just get out of it. People don't look there. Get right in the middle, right in the feed. That's where we want to be. Um, number two, the ads need to stay fresh. They need to rotate. Uh, if you put the same ad up and it runs for six months, people are just going to tune it out. It's going to become noise. And, and, and that's something that's a little bit unique to Facebook. It's just something that we've seen this year is as, as we run ads more, the attention graph starts to go down the longer they run. But if you refresh the ad, new image, new ad, the attention graph jumps up again. Okay. So that, that's a little important key for you. And then uh, number three, you got to make sure that you have a great looking mobile site that's easy to navigate because people are on Facebook on their devices, on their mobile phones, uh, iPads. And so when they click your ad, they're going over to the mobile site. Okay. And some people miss this. They start getting involved in Facebook and they're sending them to a desktop desktop style site. That's not functioning optimally or ideally on a device. So check those things, make sure those are working. But yeah, those are the four parts of Facebook. Uh, you need to think about each of those for marketing and uh, where to go from there.